Welcome back to Weeb Recaps. Today, we will be recapping Season 1 of the 2013 anime The Devil is a Part-Timer. The story takes place in a mysterious dimension where magic is part of everyday life. In this reality, the Dark Lord of Demons Satan is waging a war against humanity. Satan has his strongest generals, Lucifer, Malakota, Alciel, and Adamalek join the battle. The battle against humans is going well until an unknown hero shows up. Satan and this hero clash in battle but after a while none of them are victorious. Satan realizes that the demon armies are starting to be defeated so a retreat is ordered. Satan and Alciel open a portal to another dimension to escape. They go through the portal and are transported into a modern world where there is no magic. The police arrives and arrests Satan and Alciel. At the police station they are given new identities, Sadao Mao and Shiro Ashia. They are then given an apartment and they have to open bank accounts, like all normal humans. They also have to find a job so they can pay rent which leads them to a Milligram Ronald restaurant. There Sadao meets a really beautiful girl with red hair. Sadao starts to work at the Milligram Ronald restaurant and he is conflicted if he should use the last of his magic to help him with work. Sadao is really great at his job and his co-worker Chiho is impressed with his social skills. Sadao is given a permanent contract in the restaurant. Sadao is happy with this news and goes home to celebrate with Shiro. Suddenly he once again meets the girl with red hair. She introduces herself as Amelia Justina, and she is the hero Satan fought in that other dimension. Amelia starts attacking Sadao and they both get arrested. The police officers think that they are actually a couple having an argument. Emmy then once more threatens Sadao but he ignores her. Emmy is angry that Sadao has a good life in this reality so she pays him and Shiro a visit. It is revealed that she followed Satan into the portal and also got transported into this reality. As the days go by, Emmy follows Sadao and Shiro in their daily activities. She is shocked to learn that Satan is now just living a normal life. Emmy asks Sadao if he has given up on his quest to conquer humanity but he tells her that this will always be his goal. Suddenly they are both attacked by a sniper. Sadao then figures out that there is someone after both him and Emmy. Emmy ends up in tears and she asks if she can stay over at Sadao's house and he accepts. Sadao also receives a text message for Ochiho. In the message there is a warning that more earthquakes are going to happen. Chiho is excited to go on a date with Sadao. In the meantime, Emmy gets a call from a mysterious caller. The caller tells her that it is better for the future of humanity if both her and Satan get killed. Emmy protects Sadao from the police and tells him that someone wants both of them dead. Chiho and Sadao meet for their date but are followed by Emmy and Shiro. Chiho reveals that recently she has been hearing a mysterious language. This is the language of the people of Entei Island, the same place that Satan was invading in his other world. The earthquakes that have been happening are actually a sonar spell that is trying to find both Satan and Emmy. Before Chiho can confess her feelings towards Sadao a giant earthquake happens. Sadao manages to save all the girls out of the situation and Emmy begins to wonder why he is so kind to her. While using the last parts of his magic Satan tries to clear all the debris and protect all the people in the mall. Emmy remembers how beautiful her life was before Satan's armies invaded her island and killed her father. That is the reason she wants to kill him. The following day Emmy goes to talk with Sadao and she gets injured but he manages to heal her wounds. While he helps to patch her up Emmy admits the reason why she wants to kill. Sadao admits that he cannot understand human emotions. Chiho and Shiro arrive and they think that Sadao and Emmy are a couple. They leave in tears and the landlady Miki reveals that they must save Chiho as she has the connection to the Link spell. Chiho is walking down the street and suddenly she sees a person spread their pitch black wings and scare people. Sadao, Emmy and Shiro arrive to meet Chiho and they are also shocked by this. Sadao realizes that this person is actually his general Lucifer. It is then revealed that a former ally of Emmy is now working with Lucifer. This man is called Olbermeyer and he promised to return Lucifer back to heaven. Lucifer then attacks Sadao and his friends. Sadao teleports himself and Emmy to a faraway train station but Lucifer finds them. Lucifer then uses a magic bullet and shots Sadao directly in the head. Just before Emmy is killed, Sadao changes into his Satan form and starts to battle Lucifer. To save the nearby civilians Satan absorbs their negative emotions and knocks them out. Amelia then uses her magic and attacks Lucifer in the air. Satan uses his magic and defeats both Lucifer and Olber at the same time. Sadao uses his magic to erase the memories of all the people who witnessed the battle. Emmy's allies from another world arrive and tell her that the church on the island has become corrupt. Lucifer has now moved in with Sadao and Shiro and is using the name Hanzo. He now spends a lot of time on the computer. He finds out that there has been a report of paranormal activity in Chiho school. Sadao and Shiro go there because they might be able to absorb some magic. Emmy follows the group into the school. The group finally reaches a classroom that Hanzo and Olber used as their base of operations. 
Hanzo actually just wanted to get back his gaming console and the paranormal activity was just from him and Olber experimenting in the pat. This angers Sadao and the entire group. A new girl called Suzuno Kamazuki moves to the apartment building and gets introduced to Sadao and his friends. Meanwhile, Emi has received a secret box filled with a special powder that can be used in various ways. Emi goes to spy on Sadao and she meets Suzuno who thinks that Emi is actually dating Sadao but Emi denies this. Emi starts to be suspicious of Suzuno and her motives as she starts to spend a lot of time around Sadao. Chiho admits her feelings towards Sadao but they are interpreted by Suzuno. Suzuno then questions Sadao about how he feels about making friends and people caring for him. He expresses that he is happy which shocks Suzuno. Suzuno reveals to Emi that she is actually from Enteisla and her name is Crestia. She was sent to investigate the trader Olba. Emi still doesn't trust her intentions. Another rival restaurant opens near Milligram Ronald so Sadao has to work extra hard now. Because of the rival restaurant, Milligram Ronalds has started to lose business. Emmy is once again accused of having feelings towards Sadao which she refuses and she also gets into an argument with Shiro. Meanwhile, Sadao is trying to figure out how to increase business in his restaurant. A special Tanabata festival is happening and this gives Sadao a brilliant idea. He will make the Milligram Ronald restaurant be part of the festival. This causes a lot of customers to come and the restaurant is back in business. After the big success in the restaurant, Moyumi tells Sadao that he has to help with the business during the festival. Hanzo tells Sadao that they can absorb magic from people while using their fear in a haunted house at the festival. Suzuno hears this and then brings this information to Emi. The girls spend the day exploring the festival while Sadao is busy with the customers. Some animals start to escape their cages and soon the crocodiles get loose. Sadao then uses his Satan form to protect the people and saves the entire festival. Emi still doesn't understand why he is saving humans. While the girls go back home Suzuno notices that a white angel is watching them but it soon disappears. Suzuno reveals her plans to Chiho and Emi. Her mission is to kill Satan but this upsets both girls and Chiho explains that Sadao is kind. Suzuno gets angry and leaves. While walking back home Chiho and Emi are attacked by a fallen angel Serial. Chiho tries to call Sadao but she gets knocked to the ground and Emi gets kidnapped by Serial. Serial then tortures Emi and Olba finally awakens from his coma and finds where Sadao lives and attacks Shiro. Olba goes to visit Lucifer and tells him to become allies once more. Then Olba activates a spell that makes the moon large. This gives Serial more power and when Satana arrives to fight him to save his friends he manages to beat Satan. Another angel Crestia is at first against Satan but she decides to join him. Satan is slowly losing most of his magic but he then consumes the fears of the people and becomes even stronger. Satan and Serial fight in the air and their battle destroys almost half of the city. At the end, Satan uses his powers and manages to defeat Serial once and for all. Lucifer also knocks out Olba as he only used him to help Satan. Satan uses the remaining power he has to rebuild the city and help the humans who have been hurt by Serial. Meanwhile, Chiho gets a dream where Sadao returns to his other dimension and leaves her. Sadao tells his friends that he doesn't have enough power to leave but they are suspicious as he orders strange packages and acts erratic. Finally it is revealed that Lucifer was scammed by a company and has lost a lot of money so Sadao is trying to help him. The girls and Sadao all celebrate when they manage to solve Lucifer's problems. It seems that Emmy has finally accepted Sadao as her friend and not an enemy. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like comment and subscribe. See you all next time.